All right, kids, welcome back to the shop. Today, we're gonna make a tool to align my rotary table with the chuck. The rotary table has a number two Morse taper. And as you guys can see, there's a hole in here. So the alignment tool is gonna to look similar to this. We'll put it on like that and then bolt it down and then remove the alignment tool. Now, here's the problem that we run into is the Morse taper, the number two Morse taper at the top is 0 0.70. And I measured this, it's point six zero one so and there's a little bit of slop in here so we're gonna have to make a tool that has a taper the same as this number two taper Morse taper um, but at the top here it has to be the same diameter as in here so when I install it it fits nice and tight and then I can remove it afterwards so let's get to measuring this uh, inside diameter we're going to use a bore gauge and the way this works is these are spring loaded you stick it down into the bore it springs out then you lock it in place put it in here lock it down let's take it out 0.625 all right, we got a one inch piece of stock in the lathe. So let's put a, um, let's spot drill the end. We need to have this uh, 0.625. Okay. I got uh, 0.614. Somehow or another, I messed up here. I just made this uh, part for my good friend, the trash can. All right, guys. I turned a new one down off camera. I got it within uh, ten thousandths. Uh, this target number we're shooting for is point six two seven, and that's what this is right here. That was a sanity check. We're going to do a finish pass, test it, and um, if we have to, we'll refine it with some emery cloth. That's going to be good, but that, that's that's really good. All right, let's cut the uh, taper. Okay, next we got to turn the taper. So we're at 0.625 right now. Um, the small end of the taper is 0.7, is 0.572, and that's a difference of 0 0.053. And the angle is 1.4. Um, I have it set right here. I have it set close to it. I just, obviously I'm eyeballing it. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll turn this end down to 0.572 and then we'll just start coming out this way at our 1.4 degree angle uh, and eventually we'll have our taper it's gonna be small it's not gonna be very big uh, but that's what we need okay so we have to come in 53 thousandths right so that's 10 10 20 30 40 that's 50 right there 
and then 53. So let's go to 20, which is 40 thousandths. Point five seven four, and we were looking for point five seven two. Okay, so that's it. Um, let's try it out. All right, guys, I cut it off. I'm dying to try it. It looks pretty good, especially when you compare it to this. I think that it looks pretty good. You know, it's just the bottom part of it, right? Should work. <laughs> It doesn't all right so this goes in there good inside the rotary table the Morse taper isn't this entire length the taper part is only from a here to about here and then the bottom underneath the rotary table is open so in this case this part of the taper isn't doing anything it's the top part that's holding everything in place, like that, okay? And this part of the taper is the bottom part, see? So there's nothing inside the rotary table to hold it. We have one more last ditch effort, and that is at the bottom, is this hole here. Now what I'm gonna do is turn this to this diameter. One good thing came out of this, uh, I did turn a Morse taper and it was uh, rather painless. I think that looks pretty good. Alright guys, last ditch effort. This is actually the first one that I messed up. .548. Bingo! Okay. <laughs> let's give this a shot. All right, let's give this a shot. It's tight. It's real tight. All right, there it is. Okay, that fits good. It's nice and tight. Still... This should go in here. Just like that. And then the chuck... Okay, and then what we do is we're going to tighten that down. Okay. I like it. That's solid. Okay, let's put our uh, hold downs in place. Loosen the chuck. And that thing should be in there pretty good. So we're probably going to have to turn it over. And give it a little tippy tap out. Just like that. 
Okay. I'm going to say that worked. I think it looks pretty good. This is a good way to put the chuck on it. I like this. It seems to be accurate. Maybe one day we will uh, throw it on the mill and put an indicator on it. Alright guys, that was a little bit of a challenge. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.